Hello again, this is Chris with Apartment Ponic. And I wanted to talk to you today more about <clears throat> how I did my fishless cycling or how I am doing my fishless cycling right now. Um, which of course involves no fish, so I do not have any fish in my fish tank. Um, I'm cycling it before I get those. And let me tell you a little bit how about how that is done, or how at least I am doing it. I'm sure there are many ways to do it, um, but the way I am decided to do it. So up here I have a couple items. Uh, the first thing is the freshwater um, master test kit, which lets you test the the pH, um, high and low pH, the ammonia, the nitrite, and the nitrates, right? Um, so the goal is to have a lower pH, um, you know, around seven or a little bit lower than that. And then, um, as it's cycling, you're going to have a higher ammonia. And once those bacteria get established, um, it's going to turn the ammonia into a nitrate. And then once more beneficial is... Uh, bacteria gets established it'll turn the nitrate or the nitrite into a nitrate and so when you start seeing this last level go up the nitrite the nitrate sorry that means that the um, the bacteria in your system um, has started producing the nitrate um, and breaking down the the ammonia and nitrite so at that point um, it's pretty safe to go ahead and then put your fish in um, so it will clean out that uh, the ammonia and that nitrate, which is very harmful uh, to the fish. Um, <clears throat> so that is that is how I've decided to go about the fishless cycle. Uh, you can do it with fish, but the high ammonia uh, content usually stresses them out pretty much. Um, I didn't want to do that. Um, so what I did was... I got this AquaCycle it's for a small system like mine, um, and it came from uh, the AquaponicSource.com. Uh, they have a ton of aquaponic supplies, and so uh, the physical store is really near where I live, so I can just run over there and get uh, the things that I need. Um, but you can always order online as well. So I got the the cycling kit, and it comes with everything that you need to do a fishless. Uh, the fishless cycle um, and you can have plants of course as I do you can have plants in your system as you're cycling um, and it probably helps to get those bacteria started and get your system acclimated a little bit um, to have some life in there growing um, so next I'm going to show you what is in this little kit um, and and what I put in my system and um, how, how I'm doing my, my official cycling. Okay. So here we are again, and this is what was in the box for the official cycling kit. Um, of course you come with, it comes with ammonia and this is a powdered form ammonia water soluble so you put it into your your system to bring up the ammonia which which the bacteria will feed off of um, so you want to keep an ammonia level um, in there presently so that so that those bacteria can can begin um, it's recommended and what I'm keeping in mind is anywhere between uh, two and four ammonia level um, for now um, it also comes with some microbe life, which helps establish some of that that uh, nurturing um, that good bacteria into your, into your system. Um, and then some seaweed, and this was also in a more of a ground up powdered form seaweed rather than the liquid, which you which you can buy. Um, it's similar to the sea salt or the, the maxi corp, which you can put in your system. 
um, but this one's a powder form. And you use that if you're going to start cycling your system while you're growing plants. So when I planted this last week, um, after a couple days, my plants were not doing very well at all. Um, I'm sure a lot of it was the shock from putting them in a new system. Um, but also they had no nutrients. It was only water, right? Um, there's no bacteria, there's no fish. So uh, they had no nu nutrients in here. So after I put in the, the, the seaweed, um, the next day, man, they were perked up and um, wow, they have just been growing like crazy. So that seaweed, um, I would actually recommend uh, if you're doing any kind of a cycle and you don't have that, that nurturifying bacteria in there yet to, to break down the ammonia and, and nitrites to create the nitrates for the plants because um, that's really what gets your plants going off to a good start. Um, and then also they gave us the instructions just to kind of go through and tell you what to add to the system and when to add it at what phase and how much of everything to add in. And then on the back, you get a, uh, a record sheet that you can record your readings from um, from the, the fresh water kit. Um, <clears throat> so I, I just put the date, um, I put my pH level, which right now it's pretty high, um, which is, it's 8.0 for my tap, um, a lot higher than I'd like, but the bacteria like that thing, like the higher pH. Really the only thing that doesn't like the higher pH are probably the plants. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'd like it to come down, but it's normal for a new system to have a higher pH. Uh, if I don't see it start dropping here probably in another week, I might um, add something to the water to bring it down a little bit. Um, and also I've been tracking my ammonia, like I said, I've kind of been keeping it in the four, two to four range. And then also my, my nitrate and my nitrite, I haven't really been tracking because of course they're going to be probably zero. I did take one reading just to make sure there's nothing in there. And of course they're both at zero right now. Um, so when I really see my ammonia start dropping a lot, I'll know that something is bringing that ammonia down. And so that's the time that I need to start. Uh, checking my nitrite level um, to, to see if those bacteria have been established. And then every other day, I go ahead and add in that micro lift, the micro lift to get the nurturifying bacteria in there. Um, and then also keeping my ammonia, I'll have to add a little bit of ammonia each time. Even when the nitrite has started, right, and, and bringing down the ammonia levels to zero, every day you need to bring it back up because once you stop adding ammonia, that's their food, right? So if you stop that ammonia, um, that's just going to kill off the, the bacteria that has started in there. So you need to keep keep the ammonia level up every day to around that two to four range so they have something to feed on. And, and once those bacteria that break down the nitrite are established and you see your nitrite start to, to, to go down, then you know that that nitrate bacteria is in there, turning that, turning that, uh, nitrites to nitrate and that's the plant food that's that's what you want you want those the nitrates to go up um so that's what i'm waiting for it'd be a few weeks to a month or maybe even longer it depends on also the water temperature mine's around 50 degrees right now and i know that's probably the lowest you want it for any kind of microbe life to start to start growing and establishing itself it could be really slow um we're supposed to be getting a lot warmer weather in the next week or two, so I'm hoping that will bring up my water level to where I need it um, to really get that bacteria started to grow in my system. Um, so that's how I'm doing the fishless cycle. So once I start getting the, the nitrates, um, I'll know that that bacteria is established, and then I'm going to add my fish. I know that ammonia can be broken down if they're, if they're recreating and my system should be off and running. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding the fishless cycle or um, any tips uh, for me as I'm doing my cycle, go ahead and, and leave a comment. Um, like the video and subscribe. And I will be back with another update. 
in about a week. Thank you.